if you want to find out exactly when insiders from companies like Amazon, like Apple are selling their shares, watch this video. Insiders are always one step ahead. They know what's going to happen at their company long before the public does. Before it makes it to the news as an unconfirmed source, insider trades have already gone through and they've cashed in. Meanwhile, you're stuck holding the stock after a potentially big change. Well, wouldn't it be nice to find out exactly what they're up to? You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today, I am going to show you you how to find out what's going on with insider trading. This information is publicly available and it's quite timely too. In fact, just days after these trades occur, the information is sent to the SEC. I'm going to show you how to look up these documents on your own to pull up the data and I will make it very easy to do so. First, I want to introduce the topic, so bear with me for a moment as I go through this and break it down. Let's begin with this. Insider action. What is a Form 4? Once designated as an insider at a publicly traded company, the SEC becomes very interested in how you may be benefiting from the unfair advantage you have when trading your own company's shares. So they can't necessarily stop you from trading. However, that information becomes public because if something really catastrophic is about to happen, you sell all your shares at the peak, that information is probably going to be part of a lawsuit later on. Insiders must report trades of their company shares to the SEC via this Form 4 document. I'm going to show you the Form 4 itself, where to get it, where to look it up, just so you can be aware of exactly what they do when they have to sell. It has the name of the insider, their relationship to the company, how many shares were traded, and at what price. It also gives the dates of an insider's trades, total holdings of the insider after the transactions, and if the trades were open market related to the exercise of stock options or some other special reason. All of this information may not seem that important, but depending on the circumstance, it actually might be. Towards the bottom of the page, insiders consist of directors and officers of the company as well as any shareholders owning 10% or more of the company's outstanding stock. So they may not necessarily be reporting here if they do not fall into this criteria. I just wanted to make that very clear as to what exactly an insider is according to the SEC. Now, if you've been following the Money GPS for some time, you know that I always bring you straight to the source of the information. This is the SEC's website, second paragraph. Disclosure of information specified on this form is mandatory. The information will be used for the primary purpose of disclosing the transactions and holdings of directors, officers, and beneficial owners of registered companies. Information disclosed is a matter of public record and available for inspection by members of the public. So everybody basically gets to know if you are one of the insiders, if you've been buying or selling, what is happening. What I really like about this is that the information is timely, so it's not as if you're finding out after the following quarter when it doesn't really mean as much. You're going to be able to know really quickly if you do exactly what I show you today. Again, right from the SEC website, this is the Form 4. I just wanted to show you it to give you an idea of what they're doing. You can see on here the name and the address of the reporting person, the issuer name and ticker or trading symbol, and so on. So all of this needs to be listed by that person, and you can see it all if you're interested. There are a whole bunch of websites out there that will track and trace all of the data from the Form 4s, put it together in different types of charts, different lists that you can pull up for yourself. Now, I'll show you a few today and each one of them have their own unique way of looking into it, just as if you're going to look into a 13F to see what some of the big investment companies are up to. This happens to be for insider selling on the Form 4 and you use different resources. So while we might use a website like Fintel or Whale Wisdom to see the 13Fs, 
Here, we're gonna look at a website such as Open Insider. And if I type in a big company that everybody knows, Apple in this case here in the top left corner, this shows us the purchases and sales that have taken place within the last two years. And you can scroll through the list. I just chose Apple as an example, just because it's one company that most people know. I look through the list here just to see what is going on. And Tim Cook had sold back in 2018 on August 28th, he sold $57 million plus of shares at that time. I thought that was a pretty significant amount and it was just prior to the peak there and that was interesting to me to see that quantity and previous to that, he sold another large chunk and you can also look through this list here if you recognize any of these individuals' names, you'll notice something very clear and that's the are selling big individuals are selling large amounts of shares that's the pattern that I'm finding here now of course a lot of these individuals this needs to be noted they're paid in these shares so you're going to see this very common to happen all the time. They're not necessarily paid just a salary or just a bonus. A lot of times they are given shares and then they can exercise those when they see fit. So they do so on a regular basis, okay? But obviously they wanna time it in a way that makes them money and they wanna take profits when they seem reasonable and so on. This is another resource here tipranks.com. I thought it was interesting when you could see the chart at the top there. You get all the insiders' names. You're looking through this just to give you an idea of what's happening. Another one, insidertracking.com. If you look right as the market was heading for its peak, I just want to show you this. I'm going to highlight it for a moment. You can see right in here this huge cluster of pretty much all sales right at the absolute peak. We had more sales and then a couple along the way. Now that to me piques my interest. We are seeing on the way up as well as at the literal absolute peak of these shares right at the beginning of October when the market officially began to slide down. To me, that's telling. That shows me they know exactly what's going on, but that's a different topic for a different day. This is another resource, secform.com. By the way, all of these will be in the description under sources, so you can click on the links for yourself. But just another one, similar information, uh, looking up Apple here, and you can scroll through the list and see exactly what you want. You can actually view the filing itself, which is always interesting, just to be able to compare the information which is available on the SEC website and then you can see if it matches up just for your own good if you want to check it out to verify that data. I wanted to take you one step deeper just to show you how it actually looks like when you want to see which individuals are buying or selling. Let's look at the documents themselves. So if I go through this list right here, I'll be able to see exactly their filing on the SEC's own website. First, you click on the side under filing. There's a button that says view. And I'll just click on the first one just for this example. And you can see that they give you this form for right here and it basically outlines everything that's happening so you can look at it all that data is available right on the secform.com okay so that's not the official data but I'll show you in just a second I wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like here just to show you the person's name the name of the stock how many they sold and all of that data is here the dates and everything that you would need to know if you wanted to look at this information for yourself if I'm looking towards the top of the page, I'm going to see this information here as filed. If I click on that, I will get the actual SEC website where I can then look into it right from there. The reason I like these websites is because they kind of put it all together and make it really easy to get the information for yourself and not have to go searching through and trying to find it on the SEC 
see website, you'll never find it. But at least I know, at least I could verify the information for myself by going through these resources and then clicking the link, making sure everything's there, there's no mix-ups, and then I'll know for sure that this data is factual, it is correct. So just to show you, it's the same data, it's the same information, and that's all I wanted to give you a real closer look at this form for. Now, I'm gonna end the video there. I think that this is definitely worth a thumbs up. If you appreciated this information, hit that like button because it supports this channel. So I wanna thank you all for doing so because simply by giving the likes, simply by putting a comment here on the video, you are supporting me and the work that I do. If you want the financial education you were not taught in school, these two books have everything that you need. I'm talking about the foundation, the history, the asset classes, how to make money, reducing your expenses, and so much more. Check them out at the link in the description if you want the audiobook that's available at themoneygps.com. If you want to find out about the 13 F's, how to look into them for yourself, how to find out what big institutions are buying, selling, all of that information is available in this video. Click the link and I'll see you there.